What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad action figure. Uh, let's look at the front of the packaging right here. You can see her in the packaging right there. Get a lot of great accessories in here, it seems like. Alternate head, good stuff. And picture of her in the front. There she is on the side. On the back, they got some cool poses you can put her in. I really like that one. That's my favorite so far. And look at all the stuff. On the side, there's another picture of her. On the top, there's that. All right, I'll come right back and we'll have her out of the packaging. All right, guys, we're back. And here's a look at all the accessories you get with uh, Harley here. You get the mallet here. I think it looks really great. Really nice detail on there. In between the, the chopped up wood grain and stuff and then the smiley face on it. Really nice paint detail. Looking good. And you get her baseball bat here. This is looking awesome. This is really cool. Man, just look at that. Even down to the dirtiness on the handle here. Looking great. Uh, you get a gun. You actually get two guns. There's like another gun on her holster, which it'll be on when I when I pull her up. You'll be able to see her. And you can see there is some supposed to be like love and hate on the cylinder, but uh, you can kind of be oh you can kind of barely see it. But let's look on the other side here. Kind of hard to see. But there's something on it. Can't really see it though. Looks really good though for this scale. And then you get a bunch of sets of hands. It's like a baseball bat holding hand, looks like, or the mallet holding hand. Then I don't know what this would be. It's like a I don't know. Oh, that's like the bat holding the bat on the, the butt end of it, basically. Or on the, the business end of the bat, basically. We hold it like that. Okay. I know what it is. Another uh, bat and or mallet holding hand. And you get a couple of gun hands, too. Check it out. One with her glove on. And then without her glove. But it's really cool because they have that ring on there. Really good detail. All of her fingernails are painted right. It's awesome. There we go. And then you get an alternate head here. Like a smiley face kind of. Really great, like uh, the paint detail on these uh, these pigtails here. Plus they're articulated too, so you can throw them back like that. You know, if she's like doing a crazy move, you can have it like in different spots. It's really cool. Really good detail on the head though. All right, and then you get a, a base here. It's a clear base. Pretty sure you could do like a, just like that. And then it comes with this thing, the hook. Basically you're gonna do like, a, you know, like flying poses or just a hold on. Like if she's doing that, uh, that uh, move that every female quote unquote badass does in a movie where they flip around a guy like with their legs and stuff. You could do like that with this. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll be right back and uh, we'll take a look at the figure. Alright guys, here's a look at the figure out of the packaging and I really love this figure, man. It has got really great detail. The paint is really great. The articulation is just wonderful and like is from far from what I can tell like um just really great different posing options and stuff like that. Uh, just really great overall. And we're going to take a, you know, let's take a, we'll just cut the pleasantries and uh, get to showing you the figure here. Um, let's stop it here. And then, uh, so when I said earlier, first of all, that there was another gun, it turns out there was just like a, a the butt of a gun basically in her holster there when you first get her out of the packaging. And uh, yeah, so it's just the butt. But I took it out for posterity sake so you know she has the uh she has a gun you know it's not gonna be in here too so that's why i took it out but uh man i mean she looks really great and um let's just get down to the nitty gritty here let's oh so this hand comes off a little bit easy <laughs> the uh the bat holding hand 
but it's, it's good to be able to pose it. Like it's very poseable, and uh, you just gotta be careful with how hard you pull it, basically. Um, just again, like the head sculpt is really great on these figures. This is awesome. I think I actually think the Mayf the not the Mayfex, the uh, the SH figure arts, the head sculpt might be a tiny little bit better, but not by much. You know, it's not like a huge kind of canyon of difference like it is between this and the Mattel figure. So, you know, it's not like a huge difference, but uh, it's a little bit it's, it's a little bit noticeable, but uh, not crazy. Um, and again, on this head sculpt, you have the uh, articulated ponytails, which I really like. So you can make it look like she's you know flipping around and stuff. Um, her little pudding choker here is movable, which I like. Um, does some great detail. Like, I love her costume. It's really great detail on the shirt here. It's really awesome. And her belt's here. Then again, like, I love the legs and the tattoos on the legs. The, I love that they're, like, upside down. Like, she did them in prison, so she was, like, sitting there looking at them like that. It looks really great. And here's her little shoes here. High heels. Looks really good. And again, ankle pivot. Very subtle, but there's ankle pivot. Just enough to help you get, you know, get good poses out of her, see? Very good ankle pivot, actually. I don't know why it's one. This one's a little stiff. Could just be the joint on this particular figure, but over here, yeah, great. Look at that. And then uh, here's some... Look at the detail, like on the jacket and on the thing there. The wrist, the spiky wrist thing, I don't know what you call it. Looks great. Let's take a look on the back of her. Look at how good the paint is on this uh, this jacket. Just awesome. And then uh, you got that tattoo, that weird tattoo. Where she's like, I'm watching you. Here, let's pull that. There we go. <laughs> got eyes on her back up to her butt it's great and uh little, can you see the, yeah you can see the tattoos under her stomach there let's say lucky you see it yep really great and uh as far as the articulation goes really great up to there but man, she's like the movement here in her arm is really awesome. Um, no swivel in here though, but I just I think with the way you can set up the movements though, in the shoulder joint here, I think it kind of makes up for it because like I just can't think of many things like where you need it here because like you can move the arm, the hand there, and I don't know. I think it should be good enough. Some of you might disagree with me. That's okay. There's that, and then she's got an ab crunch up by her boobies. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> this is definitely a Mayfix figure. There you go. Um, no, so the ab crunch is up here. So it's not really ab crunch; it's booby crunch. But uh, you can twist it here, and there's some there. But then you can just do some movements here. So there is kind of an ab crunch a little bit, like right there. It's still pretty good, I think. You can do that. There you go, there. And then, like I said before, great ankle pivot on this. Really awesome. And uh, that's the articulation there. All right, guys, I'll be right back, and I'll give you my final verdict on this figure. All right, guys. I gotta go ahead and say that I really love this figure. Um, I'm very positive on it. I mean, I really love the articulation on it, all that good stuff. Um, as far as the accessories go, I think the accessories, the amount of accessories you get is really awesome. Uh, the difference in head sculpts, I love different, I love alternative head sculpts, love that they do that. And uh, the, the extra, the mallet and uh, the extra hands and all that good stuff. And then the base as well, I think is a great value for how much this figure is, which I think is about, it's forty nine ninety nine, I believe, from Big Bad Toy Store, which I think is a great deal for. I mean, it's a decent, decent price for a figure like this. I think it's great. Um, 
I'm definitely very positive in this figure. The only downside I could see um, is, you know, no bicep swivel. But, I mean, I can understand, like, maybe it was, like, an aesthetic thing why they chose not to do that. Also, like, the forearm swivel, too, I think would have been a little bit better for articulation. But I kind of think that might be a preference thing um, as far as that goes. But I think with the artic articulation she has, I think she's definitely definitely good enough to where I think she's definitely a great figure. I definitely think you should pick this up. I'm going to go ahead and give this figure... Four stars out of five. I think she's a really great figure. I definitely think you should pick her up. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, subscribe down below if you want to see more of my reviews. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.